And welcome back. The opening ceremonies of the 2020 Tokyo Olympics will air right here on NBC in less than two days this Friday. And KTSM has a reporter in Tokyo covering it all for us. She is Candy Rodriguez from our sister station KXCN in Austin. Hello, Candy. So first off, COVID, that remains the big story over there. What kind of safety protocols are you guys under as members of the media? Yeah, you're right, Daniel. That is the focus. That is the storyline, unfortunately, of the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. But it is a very important one. Let me tell you, just getting here, I had to take several tests. And now that I've been here, I've had to take several tests, six in total. And every day I have to report how I'm feeling, my temperature checks. And the journalist, the media that is here, as well with staff for the Olympic Games, are in sort of in their own bubble. The athletes are in their own bubble at the village and they're getting tested daily to ensure that no one comes up positive and they can compete. Real quick, well, I've got you. Let's talk about women's soccer real quick. Team USA already had its home opener against its old foe, Team Sweden. Did not go the Americans' way. They lost 3-0. to zero. What does this mean for Team USA? And this was tough because they were coming off a 44-game streak. I mean, you're talking years of winning, and you're talking the reigning World Cup champion. So, you know what? That's okay. I saw on social media a lot of the women were saying, you know what? This is just the opening round. We got plenty of games to go. So I'm excited to see those upcoming matches. As are we. Kenny Rodriguez in Tokyo for us. We're going to be checking in with you every day at 5 p.m. and 10 p.m. Stay safe out there.